Welcome to our Sunday, December 27th. It's our last hangout of 2020. Can you believe it? It's our last hangout of 2020. I know some people are like, oh, thank God. Right? Um, I'm just checking my. Can someone say something for me? Margo, can you just say something? I just want to make sure that it's. Say something? Say something. Okay. okay. You said something. Thank you for that. <laughs> All right. Um, so I'm going to start off today with just a little like, okay, we're at the end of the year. And um, for many of us, this is when we look back over the year and how did the year go and, and what do we want to do with the next one ahead, right? So um, some reflection, some planning and looking ahead. And Chris and I were chatting this morning and, you know, I know for both of us, we hoped that we would be further along than we are. But the thing with that is that there's always something, some sort of lesson, some place for growth, some, um, right, that it's just not quite aligning yet. And so we have to like look at that and adjust. And for me, like one of the things that, that this past year I got really good at was checking my coach office. And I am someone who is not, I'm not motivated by money. It's great, the money is great, but I'm just not motivated that way. I'm motivated by helping people. I'm motivated by changing someone's life. Um, and if I really want this to be a business that's gonna replace my teaching income, then I need to be a little more motivated by money and what that looks like and how, and not, not in the sense money, but like, strategy and building a business and what does that look like and so for one of my goals for this past year was to um, religiously check the coach online office I don't check it daily but I spend like a solid few hours in there on one day a week where I look at like the trainings and I look at new customers and I email people and I look at subscription orders and and so that was one of the the goals I had for myself this year was to work on that um, going into 2021 uh, and now having four months of teaching under my belt, working full time. The thing that I know that I need to do for this year <clears throat> is I need to have a game plan for every week on Sunday. I need to know what I'm gonna post. Um, I will commit to four social media posts a week, nothing more than that because I can't, uh, A, there's no travel. So I don't have any beautiful pictures to share. Be like, I just feel like it's the same kind of groundhog day over and over again until life kind of eases up again, right? So I don't want to be like just throwing up a post because it's a post, because it, I should be doing that. I want it to be like meaningful and um, stick to my themes and all of those sorts of things. So for me, four is something that I can manage. I show up in my stories every single day, um, but I want to on Sunday have a game plan for the week of which days I'm doing my power hour and my invites with my post, uh, which days I'm doing my follow-ups, uh, those sorts of things, and just build on that. So that's my, that's my goal for the year, is to have that game plan um, ahead of time, instead of feeling like I'm chasing time after. Like, oh crap, it's Thursday, I haven't posted since Sunday, I better get a post up. Like, I don't like that feeling. So, um, I want to have that game plan going into the week ahead. Uh, so that's my plan for, for this year. And that's going to be my, my big focus for this year is to have that on Thursday, know what I'm doing each day, each that, that week ahead. I actually ordered a new, so for those of you that don't, um, don't know this, I've always been like a paper and pen person. So what I started doing a couple of years ago is I just bought like a blank notebook. I like the, ones from chapters that are like hard on that. It's like hard, like thick cardboard on the outside. Uh, they've just sort of uh, lasted better for me, plain, nothing special in it. And I would fold my paper in half. So I'd fold it in half and my schedule with the time of the day is on the left-hand side. And I literally put in like, and I block off when I'm at work so that I know I'm not like scheduling myself in a time that I can't actually even be present because I'm at work. And then on my right hand side is where I do like my affirmations and my gratitude and things like that. And I've done that 
I don't know, three years now, solid. Um, it feels great. I commit to it, but I decided I was going to try something different this year. So I actually got Danielle Laporte's um, planner. Uh, for those of you who don't know who she is, I post some of her quotes in, um, in the Fit Club group. She's a Canadian author. She does the Desire Map. Um, Firestarter Sessions is what she does. Uh, I just really like how she structures things. So I will start with that on January 1st. So I got the one for 2021. Uh, and it's for the whole year and you work on things like goals throughout the year. So I'll, I'll be able to share more in like a month's time of how that one's going. But I really recommend having some sort of system of tracking your time and scheduling your time and just being more intentional with our time, right? Because we all are have full lives. We hear it all the time about how we're so busy. Life is so busy, even though we're on quarantine life, right? Like it seems strange to even hear that from people where you're like, mm, yeah, okay. Uh, but it's, uh, it's about being intentional with our time. And it's interesting to me how some people, um, that I've talked to about this are really resistant to scheduling their time because they feel like if they schedule their time, then they're constantly locked into the schedule and they're going to be not have the time. Whereas I find when I'm more intentional with my time, I actually have more time, right? It feels like I'm, I'm not just chasing and I, I think that's one of the, the biggest lessons I've learned, like even with my teaching, right, is that I went into this Christmas break not feeling burnt out. Um, you know, I, I heard everyone else in my school talk about how they were so excited for the break. And don't get me wrong, I was excited for the break too, but for different reasons. Not because I'm feeling burnt out, not because I'm, right, need that, oh, I just need those two weeks. Like, I didn't feel that way because I take care of myself and because I'm really intentional with my time. Um, so those are just a couple of things. The other two things I wanted to mention were um, one of the things that I have kind of battled in my head is how to get engagement up on my um, social media. And my engagement on Facebook is pretty good. I don't have to really worry about Facebook. I know what my Facebook audience wants to see. My Facebook audience wants to see my kids. They want to see Clarissa and I. Um, and so I need to somehow intertwine the business and the fitness and nutrition in with posts there. Um, and that's why I, I say only four posts a week because when I do that, I actually get better engagement on my Facebook posts. So I'm more talking about Instagram and it steals call. So I did the call this last week on uh, mindset makeover. So if you didn't have a chance, I, I had some really great feedback and people said that it was a, a great call and exactly what they needed to hear. Um, so have a listen. I will put it in the weekly coach email, which I will get out to you guys tonight um, because it's my daughter's 17th birthday today. So we are heading out for the day after I work out. So, um, so I'll do that later tonight. Um, I'll post the recording in there. But Estelle did the call the week before on ways to get your social media engagement up. And I'm going to go through her call. I listened to it one morning and it was so good and so simple. She made it so incredibly simple. So if you, um, I would highly recommend watching her call again, but having a notebook handy to actually take some notes from the call. Um, because what I'm going to do is when I make my weekly plan ahead of time, I'm going to add in her little things throughout the week so that it boosts my engagement in my Instagram um, but I, so that I remember it too, because I was like, like, oh, I got to remember. Oh, I got to remember. Oh, I got to remember that. So I'm actually going to write it down. Um, and then I will interweave those into my, my weekly plan ahead. Uh, so really recommend, uh, watching a seals call. And then my last thing is, is, um, kind of like vision boards and, um, you know, things like that. If you want to next the next hangout, we could spend the day or the, the time here kind of making vision boards for 2021, where we can, I can show you how to do that on PicMonkey um, or on Canva, and we can actually plug them in. They don't, a vision board doesn't have to be something massive. And I think that's one of the things like Max and I often talk about that, like, and I shared that on the call is that I'm simple and I'm, I'm okay with that. I don't need like an Angie Belmer closet. I don't want an Angie Belmer closet. 
Like, I just don't, it doesn't appeal to me. Um, her Christmas decorations overwhelm me. I look at her house and it looks beautiful, but that's just not me and it's not how I'm wired. And that's okay, right? There are other people like me and there are other people like Angie, which is why we connect with all sorts of, of different people. Um, but what do I want? What are the things that I want in life? Mine are more memories. Mine are more like I want to go on lots of trips. I want to travel with Clarissa. I want to travel with my kids. I want to, I want to do those sorts of things and, and, you know, take my parents on an Alaska cruise and like stuff like that, that those are the things that I want for my life. And those things should all be on my vision board. So it doesn't have to be that, you know, your vision board is this elaborate, I want an NG Bellmer closet, because for many of us on this team, we probably don't. Um, and that's okay. But what are the things and what are the memories and the moments that we want to create for our life? And let's get those on our 2021 vision board. So I actually save my vision board as my desktop on my laptop. So it's all there. And I will probably just adjust mine. Um, so I'll probably use the one that I have and just change some of the things and move some stuff around and, and things like that, because it's not like I haven't achieved everything on there. Some of the stuff I have and um, I can, you know, move forward that way. So I thought maybe like really thinking about like what we want out of the business for the next year um, and how are we going to like, how are we going to get there? Right. So think about that going into it. And then if you wanted to, maybe next Sunday on the hangout, we can we can do something like that. Or we can pick a different time. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter. I just know like I'll be back to work full time. So um, after Sunday. Time becomes a little bit next Sunday, time becomes a little bit more tight. So so those are kind of my words this morning. And uh, thank you to those of you who hopped on to Christina's Zumba fundraiser yesterday. I really appreciated it. It was uh, very awesome to see so many familiar faces and Christina was very, very grateful. So, so thank you. All right, ladies, now it's your turn. I, I have a question. Mm -hmm. I'm finding people are really interested in the, the nine week, but as soon as they see the, the tracker, they're, they're just not, they just, not interested and I can't seem to um yeah it's just doing nothing for me I've got nobody interested the control track yeah either they don't have a door that like one person was interested but then she realized that the door it would work on she wouldn't be able to see the tv so that didn't work you know somebody you know it just feels like it and I know what I've heard the whole thing you know it's just they don't if they really want to do it they'll find a way and stuff but i just wonder if anyone else is finding ways to work around the objections on that one because i'm getting it a lot like mbf was such an easy program to sell in this one it's like yeah, so hard with the ropes i really think people are going to start need to start seeing us do it that's my my thing with this program is i really think people are going to be like intimidated by the equipment, even though honestly, it's so simple. Um, they're gonna be a little bit intimidated by the equipment. And then once they see the simplicity of it and us keep, and that's why like we have to keep talking about it in our stories, right? So I'm starting it tomorrow, I'm not waiting um, because I want people to see how easy it is. And I'm gonna talk about like how the track was, you know, put, I put it on my door and how easy it is to take off when I got when I set the one up in Vancouver, I'm gonna show how easy it is to set up there because it really is easy. And you know, your friend who, um, or the person who was interested but then doesn't have a door to do it, like Autumn said in her thing, you hang a picture there or you know, you can put it on the wall and take it off the wall. Like, it's not like it has to stay there the whole time. You don't have to hang the, the resistance bands off of it. You can put the resistance band somewhere else. So all you have is the black line um, for the time being of the program. So um, yeah, I think that it's gonna be one where we have to like show people the how awesome it is um, before they actually like buy in, if that makes sense. Yeah, 
Max, are they are the people that are saying they don't want it or, or whatever, are they current Beachbody customers at all or coaches? Yeah. Oh, okay. There's not like gonna... current ones. Oh, okay. They're like, oh, okay. no. I'm not, yeah. Yeah, most all of the right. ones that, uh, I mean, I have, yeah. Anyway, it's just been interesting because MBF just seemed, even without even doing the program, just maybe it was the name of the program, maybe. Um, I don't know what it was, but that one, it was like, it was time of year, hard to say, right? It was summer, but it was just way different in the, the interest in it. So, well, but I think Tamara, sorry, Kalia was in talking to me, so I missed everything you said to me. I'll have to go back and listen to it. Um, but I think that uh, once they, they start seeing some of the results and they see, I haven't been able to demo anything. So I think that makes it um a little bit harder of being able to kind of show showcase it a little bit yeah that's what i was saying it was that i think people just need to see it yeah right? and and once they see it then they will be like oh it's not that hard yeah like right? marla's three weeks almost three weeks into it finished and she loves it yeah yeah it's so. gonna be an awesome one i'm not looking forward to tabata that's for sure but. yeah she says it's not too bad yeah. But I think they'll get harder as the weeks go on too. For sure. Yeah. But she she, she definitely has uh, has liked it. I mean, she really likes autumn in it. No, well, that's good. Mm -hmm. I, I yeah, I just think keep going, keep showing, keep. Um, I don't know when you're starting, Max. I'm starting tomorrow. I just um, don't know with my arm what I'm going to be able to do. It's still not yeah. better. But I'm finished bar. So hey, Clarissa, did you finish bar? I finished, but I want to do week, week eight again because it was hard for me and I need to feel that I mastered week eight because she started adding weights to like yoga poses. It was like, I never did like a warrior with weights yeah, and you had yeah. to hold. So I want to do one more time the week eight and then I feel that I was okay. I did it. If, if I want to master bar, I'm going back to day one. <laughs> I want to do I it did, again. But when I'm I traveling. didn't master much of bar, but I finished it. So. Okay, that's good enough. And my booty was lifted, so there you go. Yeah, no, my core is like, she gave me abs. It's like, where did this come from? <laughs> the line in the middle that I never had in my life. I was telling yeah. Tamara the other day that I remember as a kid sitting in the car and I had the rope because I always had a belly, right? And now I think it was like around eight and I was like, I want scissors to cut my fat. And I remember as a kid, <laughs> So, yeah, I was never lucky like Tamara that she has like three kids and she has abs. Anyways, Elise well, is the job, modern Clarissa. lady and she gave me, she gave me abs. Yeah, I liked her. I liked her a lot. She grew on me. I didn't like her at first, but yeah, she grew on me. Definitely. I just want to say one last thing about Barb. What I think impressed me the most was how anybody could talk the way she could talk with such positive talk the entire 40, 45 minutes with the word of the day and teach all the moves. I mean, I think I was most, being an instructor, was most blown away with how she talked for that, the way she did for the entire 40 minutes. Yeah, I was, no, amazing. I was pretty impressed. That would take a lot, a lot to be able to do that. So I said a lot about her. The moves and she's like has this beautiful word that oh, just I know. flow, just I know. flow. She was really, really, really good. I was impressed with her. So anyway, carry on. That was off off topic. No, I don't think it was off topic. I think it it, it was really good segue because I shared in my I did a video in my um for our Instagram an IGTV video the other day uh, talking about. Uh, how like this whole experience of coaching is such a learning lesson right because like Max you would have never done bar if you hadn't hurt your arm um, right it, it, it just wouldn't have been a program that would have spoken to you and so now you have this all of this stuff that you learned about bar about Elise about your body about how it's going to help someone else you know that's maybe working through an injury or maybe can't do you know, a program that has any sort of jumping in it. Um, those sorts of things, you've learned so much 
that will help people. And I was sharing in my story about the reset, right? Because when I did it in April, I loved every second of it. I felt amazing. I felt like I was on top of the world. I felt like um, I had abundant energy and positivity and happiness. And this time I hated every single second. And I totally believe that I needed to have that experience so that I can help someone who is going to do the reset and struggle through it, right? And, or going to do a 21 day program and struggle through it. Because for me, fitness isn't a struggle. I was never like motivated by food. I still am not. So I now have this new perspective on the struggle of 21 days, you know, whether it's the reset that someone's doing or even they're just doing 21 day fix. I now know what it feels like to struggle through 21 days right? Whereas before I didn't. So I'm thankful for that lesson, even though I hated every second. of it. And I think that that's why, like, I love this business so much is because we are forever shifting. I wouldn't have had that experience if Angie hadn't been like, hey, let's, will you do the reset with me again? Right? I wouldn't have had it. And so even though I hated it, I'm so grateful for that opportunity and the lesson. Um, and I know I will never do it at this time of year ever again. Uh, but I, wouldn't have that lesson and that perspective to help people that are going to struggle through 21 days. So, so yeah, it's a good, good, good learning opportunities for sure. Speaking of the 21 day thing, um, I know you have Tamara, a, a graphic for 21, the 21 day thing post or how, whatever. I'm, I still don't exactly know how to explain it on a post, but I'll try. But the thought was, so that uh, nine week control freak is not going to be, it's something that I want people to get, like th that's, I'm going to try and promote it to, for brand new people I'm talking about, Max, not, not people that are already in it, but for brand new people, but then I'm going to say, but I don't want you to start with that. <laughs> We're all going to start, even though, even if I don't actually start with 21 day fix, I actually do the other one, but maybe I show a couple of moves from 21 day fix in a video or something. But I think 2021, my thought was we do a series of 21s and we get people, brand new people to start with 21 day fix, start with baby steps. And then we, they move, <clears throat> excuse me, they move on to 21 day fix extreme, then MBF, then MBFA. And then we do nine week control freak, like four 21s down the road. So that, that's in April or May. And my thought was that could take, if people are gym monkeys and they're not going to their gyms and, or go to gyms are closed and whatever, you can word it at the beginning, like this will take you through till hopefully this pandemic is, you know, coming to an end and we're all getting our shots. And then you'll be able to get to your gym in the fall. Hopefully they will fall in love with the program as they're going. But if you give them sort of an out almost like, okay, this is just gonna take you through till we get to September, October, and then you can get back into your gym then there you go but I, I it's something some sort of a series of 21s for 2021 is what I'm trying to <laughs> tell the world the only thing to keep in mind with that Margo is that that's two different packages too right MBF and control freak yeah but the MBF is all, all you all you get in MBF is the little jump ropes I mean anybody can just spin their hands around that that's not a huge thing yeah and in 21 day fix there no, is no you don't need anything else in that no I was just thinking of MBF. Yeah. no I, and those if they end up wanting those jump ropes they can buy them they're 35 bucks if you know if they if they end up wanting them by the time they get to that program I wouldn't th that yeah true Nine week control freak basically has everything in it that they can to totally take through three series of or four series of 21 days programs. Well, and the other thing too is the equipment. Like if you go to just even look at a control track on Amazon, you're looking at a hundred bucks, right? So it's financially smarter for them to get started with the control freak package because of just the equipment, whether or not they do the program right off the bat or not. 
And I'll tell you, we have the track from Amazon because I had it for work and Marla was using it and we put up the uh, nine week one and she says it works way better. It moves much quicker. It's just faster moving it up and down the Velcro than it was on mine, which snaps into each different spot on the track. Okay. So, and actually she's using the, the control freak one. That's awesome. Do you have yours on a wall, Max, or on a No, we have it on our garage door. The door that so it's in a perfect spot for us. I have the track on the wall, but I have the MBF one or sorry, the control freak on our door into our garage. So. Just out of curiosity too, Max, these people that complain because they can't see their TV, can't they watch the workout on an iPad or a laptop and which is movable? Yeah, it, it, it's, it's, it's yeah. just an excuse is what it is because that's a ridiculous one. There's so, everything is mobile now. <laughs> well, I think for her and, and she just realizes there's, you know, a lot of other programs still to do. So she's not in the, she may change her mind down the road. Right now she's uh she seems to be and i guess i mean when does it come out in the library in the spring right well i guess if you, you you're looking at like june june yeah six so, months typically right even if people wait until then they are still going to have to buy that accessories bundle right? yeah, that's what i've tried to say to people exactly yeah it, it makes more sense i know my good friend was like yeah no i'm like you're still gonna have to buy the equipment like it, even when it gets in the library. So you're better off doing it as a package now because it's going to be way cheaper. So anyway. I would I would always to go back and use that comparison that I try to use when people are at all interested because the cost of the little piece of equipment that you get, this tracker and all that stuff, which is super cool because it, it sort of uh, resembles the pulleys at the gym and there's no way with anything else that you can duplicate those moves but anyways take what you what those people might be paying for their um kickboxing classes and their uh, hot yogas and their spin classes and on a monthly basis and figure out okay so for 89 dollars, you can get this thing where you can have a million different moves and it lasts forever yeah. <laughs> or or you can spend that 89 dollars for four classes at spin <laughs> Yeah. And then you have to spend another $89 and another $89. Like it's just, it's kind of, you, you got it. The, the value of it is pretty amazing. But people like when I explain that to somebody about how I, how, how I spend my fit dollars, I use, I think about, okay, I like oxygen yoga, but that costs me this much. So I want to extend oxygen yoga and maybe do it once a week when, when we get back, as opposed to as many times as I was, because I'll use up all my 20 sessions and it's $249 for 20 sessions. So doing beach body workouts in between that, which is super cheap, and then do the hot yoga, like it's just a way to be smart with your fit dollars. Yeah. And I think to your point earlier too, Margo, about having people sort of take this on until they can get back to the gym or whatever right it's something that i've said in the past is it's it's something that you can do as well as not in replacement of right because some people do love going to the gym you can do both <laughs> right because of the cost and the value that we get it's not to take you out of the gym it's to give you another option right and our whole and our whole program has the whole the food part of it too nutrition like it's sort of like people completely they forget even the woman i was speaking to yesterday who she needs she wants to lose like 30 pounds and she's all about yeah well i need to work out and i, and I said well we need to get your food under control no no but working out is going to be better i know like she's she's pretty um head like she what well, yeah <laughs> and uh but but what we have is almost like a Weight Watchers addition to maybe they do spin three times, two, twice a week, and then they do some fit weight stuff with us. And then they also learn how to eat properly. Like it's the whole package. And you know, yesterday I was a share of cards just out of curiosity because someone is doing CrossFit and she said, oh, but I need to like uh, have control of my nutrition. I'm still a little bit lost. I'm just eating salads. And then I went to share a card to see how much it is, um, UPF, and to be mindset. 
So I put in the cart, it's actually zero dollars. And I said, oh my goodness, we paid 200 bucks for this. So it's zero dollars to put in the cart if it's just nutrition. And then they just pay them uh, the membership after 30 days. And I was like, wow, they're doing that too? You don't have to buy a challenge pack? So I was kind of like in shock. And going back to Max, to your packages and stuff, you can tell your customer then when her bod is up, she can upgrade so she can get the material. Yeah, I because tried that Sarah, one with her. Yeah, that's Sarah, okay. she mentioned that one of our, our calls and I was like, that's brilliant. So we've been doing that. When someone is going to is going to renew their board. We just say, like, why don't you just get a challenge pack and then they get some supplements and stuff. And it's funny, a Christmas miracle happened in our business, my business center. <laughs> I have to keep telling Tamara. I woke up one day, I had two points. And then the next day I woke up with six. So a Christmas miracle happened. One customer that I had bought did that, upgraded to the challenge pack. Uh, so I just got points. And I was like, this is a Christmas miracle because for the last, I think, four months, I struggled to get my six points, my success club. So it was like a Christmas miracle. I was so happy. <laughs> hey, I have, a, I have a couple of success stories, actually, um, that just came to me out of the blue. And that's, you know, maybe you reach out to some of your customers or coaches that you just never hear from that to see, like, if they're still doing it or whatever. And this was... Um, uh, Kim, she wanted to remain nameless. I'm not sure why, but she said she, she's, she, um, anyways, she, she works at SFU. She, uh, she couldn't do the workouts because she, um, was in two accidents or one accident. She had an injury anyways, and two surgeries this year, but she followed the meal plans. She's lost 19 pounds and her wife, she, uh, again, she couldn't work out for whatever reason. So she followed the meal plans as well. And she's lost 38 pounds since I think Ju July, June or July. So Amazing. just, I know. So just following the food yeah. is the absolute way. I know it for me when I first started and I was doing both the work 21 day fix and the food and I lost some weight, then I got into a car accident. So I couldn't do the workouts anymore, but I continued eating exactly no alcohol like I was following it the way it should be and I lost another like eight or nine pounds just just with the food so the food is actually the more vital part I think than the workouts yeah. but but for your friend who is like no I need to get into the workouts I need to get into the workouts let her get into the workouts because for me the more active I am the better I want to Right. So for me, that was my loop is mine was fitness first and then the nutrition came um, with that. So, so or maybe you know, the more I work out, the more I can eat. No, I wasn't like that. My body wanted the healthier stuff. I never thought, oh, I'll just eat anything because I worked out. Yeah, I, I think it's like psychological for a lot of people. It's a package, right? So when you work out, you don't want to undo all that work that you just did. So you want to, it just motivates you to eat, but eat better. I think so. Yeah, it's a package. Yeah, for, for some of us, for some people, it's that uh, I, I worked out, so now I can eat whatever I want to, right? <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah, everybody is different, right? For sure. For sure. Can we get a picture well before people need to hop off? So Max, Sarah, I don't know, Kim, Angie, Cindy, if you want to hop off. Kim's out walking already, hey? Look at you go this morning. <laughs> She's always walking. I think I think she gets up at two in the morning and starts walking. Okay, one more time, because I miss Sarah. Smile. There we go. Okay, thank you. Two in the morning. <laughs> Anybody else? Questions? Things that you'd like us to go over? I think Tamara, you're you're right with, um, or I feel the exact same way you do as far as building this business. I really, I really, really, really want to do it, 
like a lot, like for, especially for women over 40, over 50, but money is not my motivator <laughs> at all. Like Kim knows this. Um, so it's, it's a weird, it, it's, it's, I, I can't, I got to get past that because that is the result of having more people is you will make more, but I don't want people to think that that's why I'm doing it because I am overwhelmed with whenever I add new people on Facebook or whatever, Hey, would you share my post or, Hey, I've got this skinny coffee. Hey, I've got this makeup. Hey, I've got this skincare. Hey, I've got this. And it's sort of blatantly vomiting sales on your, on you constantly. And so it terrifies me to sound like I'm trying to sell somebody something like, so I, that's, so I analyze till I paralyze and I, I sit with my, I I haven't, I'm going to, I wrote, I wrote it down. (laughs) I talked all about that and the selling and the selling because we all need to get past the selling because, and I, I, I gave two reasons. Number one, who cares if people think you're selling healthier who cares really like ultimately who cares um and number two because when I think about it there's someone um so one of Christina Klein's best friends is like makeup with Monica so she does makeup and she's been super successful doing I don't know which company she's with if it's unique or whatever it is but that fuels her soul because she gets to help someone feel more beautiful right like There's nothing wrong with any of those businesses. How people present them can be um, yucky, if that makes sense. Like it can be too much in your face. Um, You know, I have a lady who she just messages every once in a while and is like, are you interested in makeup? And I'm like, honestly, like I wear mascara and eyeliner, like that's all. And lip plastic, like I don't wear makeup. So you're kind of barking up the wrong tree if you want, if you want me me and your as your customer I might order once every like eight months or something um so who cares but number two is we sell all the time you know we we are selling all the time Brittany has to sell her daughter on her vegetables um you know like we have to sell Angie has to sell the boys on you know not using the iPad and doing something else uh, I have to, Clarissa wants something for dinner and I want something else for dinner. I have to sell my idea to her or she has to sell her idea to me. Like we are selling all the time. And so I think when you get to this point of like accepting that we're all selling, like it's okay, you know? So I went over that stuff in the in the call. On Wednesday. I think too, just it might be, we're sort of trying to get a person or trying to advise a person to change their lifestyle. And that's a, can be a bigger decision than buying a mascara. For sure. Cause then you're changing from the inside out, whereas the mascara is changing the outside. So yeah, the mascara is the quick fix. The mascara is the pill. The mascara is the pink drink. The mascara is the keto coffee. Uh, um, talking about Margo, did we congratulate Margo for being top five in Canada? Uh, hello, hello, rising oh, new stars, rising stars. Yeah. new rising stars. <laughs> ooh, ooh. And I was, I was telling Tamara, I was like, you know what, 2021, Margo, you know what you do. We talked about this so many times. You, it's time for you to surpass us, me and Tamara. It's we set you from um, successful from day one. So you know what you do. So. <laughs> but I don't like selling. No, I'm just kidding, Tamara. Don't, don't hurt. <laughs> Too funny. I, I must admit that was a very shocking, but awesome thing. I was and... shocked. I didn't know this new category existed. And I was like, whoa, I'm her Margo. I know me neither and then so but it a lot of people have commented like so I should probably go back to those people yes there you go I know one of those one of one of my friends who was she's an awesome lady and she 
she worked with me and she talks and she helped me with here for kids and she's an incredible um, website built but it's very simple like it's not extravagant but she helps with or helped me with my here for kids website anyways and so I talked to her before Christmas before I knew about this thing and I was saying I really need to take this more seriously I really need I should have a website or something where I can send people I just would like to make it look a little bit more uh, professional and she said well Margo you help me with tips and tricks on health and fitness and I'll build, I'll help you with your website. And of course, nothing. Oh, that's awesome, Linda. And then nothing. And then that post comes on and she comments, Margo, way to go. And I'm thinking, okay, I think, I think now I need to work on that website. <laughs> okay. Oh man. That's a I don't know. Step thing I don't for send me. people to our website. So I don't know that I agree. I honestly think the things that you need to have every month are like the pictures of the packages with the pricing on them um and you can get those pictures like from coach online office. office they have the, the no background pictures you can also just go to teambeachbody.com and when you go look at the package like there's a picture of it you can save the image right like you just click on it and save the image of the package and then you can add in your pricing because i feel like when people ask for more info, like wh what are you going to send them to on your website? Like, what do they want that? Yeah, that I agree. I, gonna give I, yeah. I think having I, a video, like a little video of you talking about it with some pictures of the pricing and the packages is way more sensible, like in terms of time than a website. You know, I think you're right. Maybe 20 like, years ago, a website was a thing. People don't look at websites anymore. I think what became a website nowadays is basically like our social media. So you can even like on your Instagram, do stories sharing whatever, like we're going to do the new program and putting as highlights and just tell the person, go watch this highlight. So then the information is there and has you, has like, people like to watch videos nowadays. They don't really want to go be looking for information on a website. So I think like, Websites turn into our social media. And I, I agree to Tamara with what you said as far as which I it's almost like hide the weenie sometimes when people are when you're asking people to, would you like to participate in our 2021 fit club? And and then what does it entail? Well, we do this, 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 and there you never mention the price. And I think if we just cut to the chase and send, as you just said, Tamara the image of the package with the price because the price is not outrageous. It's quite cheap. 200 bucks is to have for, I mean, people don't have to do this movie or whatever, but to have that for a, at least a full year, I mean, it's, it's way less than almost any other gym out there. So, and, and yet we sort of, I play this game back and forth, back and forth, back and forth talking. And then I stop talking because I can't get to the price. I think we just have to, post put it out there i don't know about post it. i think what ha what you need to do have the conversation and then when not, they say not post it much, yeah but then when they say how much then send them the picture yeah because yeah i didn't mean post it i meant i meant tell I them about, like but even like that wouldn't be the first thing i would send them i would send them when you say what's the what's involved in the fit club i would explain well you're going to get a full year of access all of fitness programs, 30 days of supplements, shaker cup, access to nutrition plans, accountability, um, you know, a full 30 day money back guarantee, like some equipment that goes with your program. Uh, I would say all those things and then they say, how much? And then I say, well, I have some options. So I'm gonna send you some graphics because I want them to see like the big one, the medium one and the little one. And then, um, from there, we go from there. I think doing it that way is better than just sending the picture right away. Because the picture might not mean that much to them. Yeah, no, I, I agree. That's, I, I just, I have, what I'm saying is in the past, I never really got to that price part. Oh, okay. We would gotcha. go back and forth and say how wonderful it is. And then that was it. <laughs> no, I understand. Oh, Elsie, are you talking? Cause you're on mute. <laughs> Still on mute. You're, oh, still on mute. There we go. 
There Can you go. hear me? Can you hear me? Yep. Okay, perfect. Okay, just as a new person, I'm listening to you girls talk, and it's like, oh my god, I, I really, honestly, I'm quite lost listening to you girls talk. But you're very enthusiastic. But one thing, Margo, my God, she was persistent. Margo, that is your greatest gift. You don't even know that you're being persistent and selling, but you're just, you're just so, you do it in such a nice way. So just keep doing what you're doing because you're just very, you're really just natural at it. So just keep doing what you're doing. But for me, as a new person, and I was the gym person. I've been going to the gym since I was in my early 20s, so many, many years ago. I'm the same age as Margo. Um, I, I resisted this, I resisted this, I resisted this, and now I started kind of doing my workouts at the beginning of October. I will never go back. I absolutely love this, and I am a gym freak, and I'm not going to go back. Like, I the greatest gift this gave me was my time. I can get my, I get up at seven o'clock every morning, except on the weekends, I'll do an eight o'clock workout, sleep in a bit and I'll do my workout and it's completely out of the way, it starts my day. And I factored in the time it took me to get to the gym, park, get in there, do my warm up, do my workout, uh, warm down, come home. It was almost two hours. And I'm thinking, I have no two hours. I do not have two hours of time now to give up, to do that. And I'm thinking this is the greatest gift for me was the time. And, and really, literally in one month, I started to notice a huge difference in that flabbiness. And then like six weeks, two months later, I could really see the firmness coming up again. And I was like so happy. And so I'm like, I'm, I'm thrilled with it. I love it. I absolutely love it. My problem is I just haven't explored all the different programs. And I probably need some help with that. Um, uh, because I, I find I get so lost on the website. There's just so much information on the website. It's overwhelming. So a new person maybe going to the website might be overwhelmed as well. Because I still find I'm overwhelmed going to the website. Oh, for sure. There's a ton of information on there, 100%. But that is so wonderful to hear from someone. Yeah. Like, I was a total gym person. When Clarissa and I started, Elsie, we actually started with this, like, home workout. I'm not going to work out at We're home. not going to do it. We're going to no, go same the here. No, I'm not we're doing that at home. That's, do. that's a and, dumb and, idea. Yeah. We said we're not going to do it. We're no. just going to keep going to the gym. But yeah. then the same, the time. And now with COVID, we feel safe at home. And I get oh, yeah, way better course. results. Yeah. I you agree. Know, thank I you agree. For Thank you for the reminder I mean, of that. I think a lot of people don't do it because they, a lot of, I hear a lot of people too, just say, oh, I don't have the time, I don't have the time, I'm too tired, they come home from work, they're exhausted, I'm tired, I'm tired. And that's a huge factor, especially for as we get older, because we get tired, like we're more, we don't have the same energy levels we did when we were 20s and 30s. So it's, uh, it, that's, that's, that's a huge factor. If you can take and carve out like a 30 minute or 45 minute workout and you're done and you're at home, and you don't have to drive or find parking and walk, get into the gym and wait for the equipment and what and, and then have to wipe down all the equipment and everything it's like oh forget it i i, I just can't even see me going back anymore like yeah. Me yeah. Too. it was a kind of a game changer for me i'm just a little bit lost with all the stuff that can be done because i look at the website and I, and I will go through it but it's like it's so much information there so i think sending oh. somebody to the website could be somebody a new like someone that's looking at it can be you almost have to guide them where to go because it's almost like oh my god it's too much and for people that get overwhelmed easy they could scare them off because there's so much there yeah my advice is not even like try to figure out the programs they actually go to the fit club or go to our freshman free to be and say my goals are this now i don't know whatever tone more my belly or tone my yeah. arms and then we're gonna redirect you people that already done, have done one of the programs that think it's going to be fit, a good fit for you, then we're going to give you the advice. I think that's the best way to go. Yeah, I think so. I just think keep it simple, especially at the beginning. Yeah. Yes. Listen to what kind of their needs are and then sort of guide them exactly to where they need to go. Maybe a link or whatever it is. And, and uh, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I just sort of see that for me. That's sort of how I've been feeling about it. Because I'm on the, I, I listen to you girls talk and I'm on the website right now, you know, Beachbody on Demand. And I'm looking at all this stuff. And again, I'm like, I'm trying to sort of click what you guys are talking about. And I'm like, oh, a lot, a lot of stuff. We're, yeah. This is more, Elsie, this is more um, 
what we're doing is trying to figure out our own game plan. So not necessarily sending people to the website to check anything out. In fact, I've never done that. Cause I do exactly what you guys, what Tamara and Clarissa has, have said. If someone needs to lose, if someone wants to lose weight, um, then I'll, I'll always recommend the food, the 21 day fix type of program. So ADD obsession or something that comes with those containers. And then even before that can, those containers arrive, I will walk them through how to find the food list, how to find and all that. And sometimes if they've already placed the order, I will measure out those containers or if I live close, I'll take the containers to them so that it can get started right away until their package arrives. But yeah, it's more of a, um, you're definitely like even with you, Elsie, um, helping you at the very beginning because you know I've talked to you for a while about it and then, <laughs> then you decided to give it a try. And I think I advised you to try whatever it was, I can't remember. But it's funny because once the person gets over that, so once you sell them on it, once they get involved and once they get it, just like what you're saying, Elsie, Typically, they absolutely love it. And they want, you know, they, it's just getting them to that point to, to see the light. But there's, they, but once they're there, usually, because we're all here with them, helping them and, and putting them into fit clubs and, and putting them into Zumba classes and doing live workouts with it. Like we're, we don't leave them. Like when you buy a mascara from somebody, here's your mascara, put it on, off you go. Like you don't see people again, but in this business, we stay with them virtually. So we're COVID safe. <laughs> I used the, on the freedom or the Facebook page, um, there's like in the files I used, um, Oh, I don't know what her name is. It starts with an F. I don't know how to pronounce it. She has like blue hair. Blue hair. She's on Christina's team. Do you know who I'm talking about? Oh, oh Floss. 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 Yeah, yeah. She has like in the files, she has um, her uh, papers of like how she talks to people and like how she kind of gets them in and stuff. And I've kind of gone off that and I've gotten two people to sign up just by using like her little setup thing that she uses. So that's so in the post. Mm -hmm. Just like uh, in the files area. By, by the way, sorry, one more thing. Well, I don't know where what everyone's levels are, but once you get to Emerald, I think it is, you start to get free customers or coaches on your team. Um, that, that Beachbody continues to run their infomercials everywhere. So all of a sudden, randomly, you'll get people on your team. And I really haven't spent a lot of time, which is another one of my resolutions, reaching out to those people to let them know I'm their coach. But in the last four weeks, I think, I've had two people reach out to me. One wow. of them uh, is, is in Chicago, and she went from being a customer to now a coach. She's not interested in building the business, but she's switched over to being a coach. She's awesome, and she's actually commented on in the Health and Fit Club. And then another one just reached out to me just before Christmas and she's from the UK. So I'm hopefully gonna connect with her tomorrow because she was having a hard time finding nine week control freak and we'll walk through, I'll walk her through. But it's, it's funny, once you get to very relatively easy level, you know, to coach on the right, coach on the left, you can actually start building a team of people that are already in it, already yeah. interest, they're already got it. <laughs> so they're a little easier to talk to to warm yourself up to actually talking to strangers. <laughs> well, and I think Beachbody's made it so much easier now for people to reach out to us. Whereas in the beginning, when we got free customers, it was harder to connect with them. But now they, when they sign in, it's like, there's a little button that says connect with my coach. So it's much easier for them to, to reach out. I've heard from more people since BOD groups launched than I did in the years of coaching before. And we're right. going to be 60 years into January is going to be our six year anniversary. Yeah. And I've heard from more people since BOD groups. And I feel like they're forever working on BOD groups, which is really awesome. I notice now, like I see when someone shares a workout, which I love because then I can go comment on their workout. 
um, you know, we can message from the app now. So it's it's becoming easier to get in touch with people and get people into the bot groups too that way. So. Well, ladies, I'm going to sign off. I have a 17 year old in my house today. Don't know how that happened. Seriously. Blink and it's over or it's gone. So have a wonderful day. Um, Thanks, Tamara. I will be working out early mornings this week if anyone wants to join, except for the holidays, of course. And then I'll be back to it next Monday. Uh, hopefully see you Saturday for a workout. And then Sunday, our first 2021 hangout. So we love you. Happy New Year. Bye. Happy New Year.